Hey, what's up everybody? Nathan Kirby, 90 Day Challenge. My success journey continues. I'm gonna show you something real quick. Do you see this? This I whipped up in about 15 minutes. See, I hear people tell me all the time that they don't have time, that they don't have the opportunity to eat right, to eat healthy. And, and all that is, once again, I grilled some pineapple, I grilled some asparagus, I grilled a piece of steak, some zucchini, some squash. So I got all my, I got fruits, I got vegetables, I got some meat. Your decisions that you're making is killing your body. The decisions you make financially is killing your, um, your household income. Um, and it's also hurting your marriage. And so I want to talk real quick <clears throat> about um, the compound effect. There's a book, Darren Hardy. He's actually the publisher for Success Magazine. If you guys get a chance, look this book, um, go read this book, check it out. But it's called The Compound Effect. And basically he's describing in this book, and this is what I've realized, and I wanted to bring you up to speed on what I'm doing in my success challenge that I've told you about. He, he's talking about the compound effect, these small little choices that we make every day, how much of an impact they truly have on our life in the long run. The small choices that I chose today to grill up this amazing looking steak, and trust me, this is going to be a short video because I'm hungry. Um, the, the choice that I made to grill this up rather than grab a pizza, rather than go through the drive through it's these choices that I'm consciously making. I, I put something on Facebook today talking about how you know, it's 100% of our responsibility if we want something done. Our life is 100% of our responsibility as well. We can complain about the weather. We can complain about the economy. We can complain about the president. We can complain about all this stuff. But what you need to do is realize what you actually can and what you need to, to make the choices that, that you can control in your own life. Let me tell you about the compound effect. The compound effect is this meal right here, what I made. Now, eating a Big Mac burger um, or a Big Mac meal from McDonald's or whatever I have, if I choose, those extra calories that I was going to consume today, if I chose to do that, I'm not eating fast food either, but the, those extra calories that I was going to choose to use today, now I'm going to replace with healthy calories. I'm going to replace with healthy things. He was talking about in this book that there was three friends. I'm just going to tell you about two of them. One friend who decided, well, he's going to be lazy. He's going to eat whatever he wants. He started watching the cooking channel, and he started making these things. He got a brand new TV, and he was going to actually live up his life. That's what he thought living up was. He wasn't going to save. He's going to have this TV. Another one of his friends decided that every day he's going to go and try and make a small choice to make himself better. Every day, 125 calories is what he was going to cut out of his meal every single day. And he was also going to start reading. He was going to do some personal development. He was going to read scripture. He was going to do some things that was going to help develop his, his life and his career, his relationships. Well, eight months down the road, you really don't see much of a difference. You don't see much of a difference physically between them. But there is a difference because his friend who chose to be the lazier one of the two, who chose to eat the worst, of course, he's getting unhealthy. This is where the compound effect goes negatively. But also, he wasn't even happy in his job. Then he's not, becoming, he's not happy in his marriage. He's tuning into the TV. Well, here comes about 18 months down the road. Now you can see some noticeable difference between these two. And it was 31 months that it took the drastic turn up or the drastic turn down. His friend gained 33 pounds. The guy who chose to cut 125 calories out every day for 31 months lost 33 pounds. There was 66 pounds between these two. Not only that, this guy was closer to his wife. He started going on walks with her. He got a raise at work because he was focused on what he was doing. All I'm trying to show, show you guys is the compound. You can't quit. I don't want you guys to give up on your diet. Don't give up on your exercise routine. You guys have to realize that you may not see it now. You may not see it in 24 hours. You may not see it in two weeks, but the, if the, the results are going to be there. Case in point, this is my 90-day journey, right? So I just started this a few weeks ago, and it's not going to be easy, and it's not going to be easy for you. It wasn't for me. I'm making phone calls. You don't think people tell me no? You don't think people think I'm crazy, and they're like, oh, yeah, yeah, that sounds good. They're content, and if they're content with their life, that's fine, but I'm pouring my heart out to these people to tell them this is going to change your life. It's changed mine. I've lost 30 pounds, over 30 pounds. Now I've gained five pounds of muscle back. We'd save money on groceries. That was the craziest part was we were saving $350 a month on groceries just by eating better, by drinking this shake in the morning. Um, then our health was getting better. My energy is better. I'm doing more stuff with my family. Now I'm making a little bit of money doing this. Well, now I'm making a lot of money. And finally, just this last week, that compound effect kicks in. I didn't quit after the first day or the second day or the third day. 
when I only got one people, two people. It was the fifth and sixth and seventh and eighth day that I was still sowing and I was still sowing seeds and I'm reaping the same and I'm still sowing and I'm reaping at the same time. I was just able to get paid more in one week than I made at my last job in three years. Three years I worked for a company and I made more in a week than I did there. So I'm telling you, don't give up. You just got to realize that you may not see results in the first hour. You may not see results in the first 24 hours or the first two weeks, whatever it is. Don't quit on your diet. Don't quit on your marriage. Every small decision that you make every single day is going to result in what your tomorrow brings. What you do today is going to determine where you are five years from now. Guys, I'm just asking you to go on this journey with me, whether it is. Some of you have taken me on that 90-day fitness challenge, the 90-day no TV challenge, the 90-day no no fast food challenge. That's been awesome. I'm I'm hearing testimonies about lives being changed, marriages being rekindled, um, relationships with their kids again, feeling healthy, losing weight, and it's just excitement. So please join me on this. Again, go to my website. It's nkirby.myvi.net. Email me, kirbymma at gmail.com. I'd love to help you out. I want to hear from you. Please leave some comments. Please talk to me. It's, I love the private messages, and I'm, I'm glad we can work with each other. I want to come where you are and help you guys out in your own business. And, and until then, guys, I just say once again, God bless you. I'm going to eat my steak. I'm pretty hungry now. You guys have a great day.